Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making this little shirt that I found on Pinterest. I'm going to show you how to make one just like it, so let's jump into the video. Alright, so as we get started here, I am just cutting out my lining fabric. I have decided to cut on the bias so that it might have just a little bit more stretch if I need it. I did learn that with making it the first time, I just wanted it to have just a slight bit of stretch. I'm using just a plain white cotton for the lining, and I will have a pretty fabric for the rest of it. So I didn't quite have enough to do two full pieces, so I just decided to cut half pieces. I did notice that it was a little bit um, too wrinkled, so I needed to iron it before I could cut it accurately. But anyways, I used two of the pieces cut in half, and I had just enough for um, that. And I would just have a seam up the middle of one of the lining fabrics. So the way that I created this pattern was that I took my bust measurement uh, and added a couple of inches. So it ended up being um, 20 inches for the front and the back. And I drew in where I thought that the elastics needed to go. And then it was just two rectangles with a bunch of... Um, lines for where those elastics will be. To figure out how long you need to make the elastics, just measure the area where they will sit and subtract two from that number. So now we have two front and back pieces cut out of our front fabric and those two will get matched up to the other two. I did connect the ones that needed to be connected so now they are just two equal pieces. It's time to pin these bad boys together. This is my little pin cushion. If you want a tutorial on how to make that, just let me know. I made it last year as a Christmas present and also made one for myself. So now I'm just pinning them together along the top and bottom where I will then sew it down so that we can flip it with like the right sides together. We'll flip it so that the right sides have a nice clean seam. You do want to leave the edges open so that you can flip those two pieces. Voila! You can draw a line to do this if you need to be more accurate, but also just practicing doing straight lines using the edge of your foot, um, meaning your presser foot, um, is also a really good way to do that. And now it's time to iron those edges flat so that they look good. I could understitch it and most um, professionals or semi-professionals would say do understitch it so that the white doesn't peek out but I actually found that it didn't quite matter that much um, so I just ironed it down and ironed it flat and made it look pretty. I did find a small hole where I didn't quite catch both of the sides so I just hopped back on my sewing machine and fixed that right up. So now we have them ready. I'm just checking the sizing and they don't quite match up. So my fix for that is just going to be hopping over to my serger um, and serging the edge so that it cuts off a little bit and they match up nice and perfect. And I did get this serger second hand and it is new to me. So it's been a little finicky, but it seemed to do what I wanted it to do this time around. <laughs> So now that those do match up better, I am going to use my pattern again and I am adjusting this old pattern because I wanted to make a shorter crop top. So I will be just changing where those elastics are going to be. And to mark those elastics, I am just using this blue chalk water soluble pencil and uh, my clear ruler so that I can see where I'm going. And marking across those. I did want to mark these because so that you guys could see it but also so that I know that I'm going in a straight line. When I used this on darker fabric I just used a sliver of soap as my chalk because my chalk white pencil didn't want to work on my thinner fabric that I was using. Alright so now 
we are pinning down those sides so that they um, stay even and we don't have any white slipping through but I will just be sewing down the very top line to make the first elastic casing on the front. I also drew the lines in because I would totally forget where they were supposed to go. Um, I could just mark it, but because it's a white fabric with no line lines on it, there would be no way for me to not stray off the path. <laughs> and now that I'm at the end, I'm just going to lift up my presser foot and hop right over to the next line to do the bottom of that first casing. And I'll do that for both of, for all the um, three at the bottom as well. Just save some thread and uh, makes your life a little easier. You don't have to cut anything. All right, one casing down and five to go. I'm just gonna do the same thing for each of the lines that I've drawn. Um, and then it's pretty simple from there. All right, so that's how you do that. And I'm gonna do the other piece off camera and come back and connect them together. Here we are, it's time to put them facing right sides together. I did actually end up making the back piece 18 and the front piece 22 to equal 40 inches for going over my shoulders and bust. Um, I did that just so the lines would be closer to um, right underneath my armpits, just allowing for the chest area. And so right now I am checking just to make sure that these um, line up along the sides, like the casings, so all go to the same way. Got to pull out quite a few of my safety pins for that because I don't want them going anywhere. And then I will slide some elastic into the first casings. Once I get to the end here, I do just pin that in place for now um, so that I can see how much it stretches and yeah it looks good once I have those all in their casings I will just sew a straight seam down the side of each of them to secure all I do after that is put them right sides together and serge or sew or zigzag stitch whichever you have available to you right up the sides to connect them into a tube and then the next thing that we need are the straps. So I cut four pieces, um, and I think they're two inches by 20 or so because I wanna have ties at the top. Basically, I just hold these uh, folded in half and sew down the side. If you have a right side, make sure that your right sides are facing inwards. This fabric was really hard to tell which sides were considered the right side, the wrong side, so I don't think it ended up mattering. Um, but if you do have that kind of fabric, you should make sure that your right sides are facing inward because we are going to turn these inside out. When I trim, first I am going to clip off the excess so that it can all fit through the hole without snagging or pulling. This is where you can get a little tricky because you want to make sure you don't rip any of your fabric really, so you gotta make sure it slides in easily. If you don't have a loop turner like I do, you can always put a safety pin on um, the end of one and tuck it in and just push it through that way, um, which totally works as well. So now we're using our serger just to connect all of those together and it trims it off for you um, as you go to make those edges nice and clean. I did end up also doing a straight stitch down the edge, um, but the last thing we have to do is attach our, our straps. And I just used my first draft to see where I wanted to put the straps so I didn't have to try it on and off, but you should definitely try it on to see where you like them to fit. And how I connected these was I just lined them up and sewed along the same line as the top casing, trying not to catch the elastic using both the top and bottom lines of that elastic casing to hide the seam. And once you're done attaching your straps, that's it. Your 
tank top is done and you can try it on. Um, like I said, it's basically just a square <laughs> rectangle situation with some lines for some casings and some elastic. So it's not as complicated as it looks or maybe as it sounds. Um, and I'm really glad that you guys joined me for this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below letting me know if you liked it. It really helps me out and I just super appreciate it. So without further ado, let's see how this garment turned out. so much for watching make sure that you subscribe to this channel like this video and comment down below what you want to see me make next I would love to hear uh, any suggestions thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye